Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video and in the later videos in this series, we will study about face recognition system in Python. Now these days face recognition have become quite a common thing as everyone is doing it. There are libraries and ready-made source code available through which you can pretty much achieve your face recognition uh, concepts. But important thing here is that we need to understand the basic idea behind face recognition libraries and its concept. And this is why we have this video where we are going to discuss the basics of it. You see face recognition, everyone has a different use case. Someone might use it for let's say attendance purpose, someone will use it for monitoring or security purpose. So it's very important to understand how face recognition works so that you can later mold it for your own use case. That being said, let's get started. So I have made a small presentation through which we will go and we will have a basic understanding of the face recognition system. So before starting, let, before starting, let's also talk about the things which you need to know before starting with these series. First of all, Python. Because all of our face, face recognition script is going to be in Python, so you need to have a basic understanding of Python. So this is must. Next is face detection. Uh, before face recognition can happen, we need to have a face detection in our code. So a user should have worked previously on how faces are being detected and its inferencing. And obviously OpenCV. So we are like going to use OpenCV a lot in our Python script. Um, so anyone who is following this series should have a basic idea of what OpenCV is and how to use it in your uh, Python script. Now. Before discussing how computers recognize faces, let's simply talk about how human vision works. So we have a photo here and by just looking at the face of this person, anyone can simply recognize and predict the name of this person. He is Tom Cruise. Why we know that? Because we have simply seen him in many movies and photos and thus our brain has trained itself in such a way that by just looking at the face of the person, we can predict the name of this person. Now in the similar way, computers also work. So to give you an overall idea of how face recognition work, what we do in face recognition is we take photos of the person which, com which we want computer to recognize. We put it in the model files, we train the model and from that moment computers can start recognizing and predicting the name of that person. Now in order to understand how computer vision work, Let's take an example. Let's simply take an example. Think about any moment when you first met your friend. At that moment, what your brain was doing is your brain was saving the facial landmarks of your friend. Now, what are facial landmarks? Facial landmarks as in uh, the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose and the overall shape of your, of your face. So the brain, your brain was saving the facial landmarks of your face, friend. Now, Next time, whenever you met that person again, your brain can simply predict the name of the person based on the facial landmarks it has saved. And this is exactly how computer vision also work. So for example, we have a photo here. We have a photo here. And from, from our code, what we will do is we will first detect the face inside the photo. So we have the face. Now from this face, we will calculate the facial landmarks of the person. And this is we have the facial landmarks. So what we do at this point is we save this facial landmark somewhere in our code and then we train the model and from the next time it can simply start predicting the name of this person. But the problem here is that computers are not very smart enough. They cannot recognize a person with just one photo. So we need I mean we need more and more photos of that person in order to make computers recognize person very easily. So just for this example, just for the demonstration purpose, what we have done is that we have taken five photos of Tom Cruise. We have five. So we have taken five photos of Tom Cruise and we have extracted the facial landmarks of all these faces of the Tom Cruise. And we have named them as TC1, TC2, TC3 and so on. In the same way, we have also taken the facial faces of the Elon Musk and have extracted the facial landmarks of Elon Musk and have also named them as EM1, EM2 and so on. So till now what we have done is that we have extracted the facial landmarks of all the person which we want computers to recognize. Now if I want to draw these facial landmarks on a graph so it will look like something this. So all these points TC1, TC2 and so on all these Z points belong to 
Tom Cruise face faces and these blue points EM1, EM2 and so on belongs to Elon Musk. Now you will also see that all these points like these red points are very closer to each other. Reason being obviously this is the face facial landmarks of the same person. So they are closer to each other and same goes for EM1, EM2 and Elon Musk facial landmarks. So at this point we are done and we have you can say we have somewhat trained our model and it is ready to start predicting the name of any of the test image which we pass in. So let's take an example and let's <clears throat> use one of the test image. So here you can see that we have a test image and this image I have taken is a younger photo of Tom Cruise and what we'll do again as per our code we will first detect the face from this uh, image and then we will extract the facial and marks of this uh, face. Now we will draw this draw this image uh, facial and marks on the same graph. So it is drawn here, but it can be actually drawn anywhere on the graph. We have just taken this position as an example. Now you will see that what I mean from the from our uh, script from our Python code, what we will do is we will calculate the distance of this test image point, this test image point, and these red points, and then we will also calculate the distance between this test image and these blue points. Now this distance is, distance is known as Euclidean distance. Uh, you can Google about this more and there is a formula for this calculation but uh, we are using the OpenCV and we have the uh, ready-made libraries for this so we don't need to worry about the formula. So we will simply calculate the Euclidean distance between the test image and these points and test image and these blue points and the distance which is less will be that person. So for example this test image if you see, let me open a marker. Okay. So if you see this test image, distance between this test image and these red points is a bit less than the distance between these blue points. And thus we can simply say from our code that this test image belongs to Tom Cruise. And this is how computers recognize face. So let's say if you have another image and you, you passed on the image of Elon Musk. So that image might be somewhere here or maybe here or maybe anywhere. And we will again calculate the distance between the test image and these two uh, red and blue points. And the distance which is less will be that person. So in this way, this is our algorithm for face recognition and this is how we are going to write our Python scripts and everything. So till now what we have discussed is that we took some photos of Tom Cruise, we took some photos of Elon Musk, we, uh, we detected the faces in all the photos and then we extracted the facial landmarks of that of both the person and then we like we put it on the graph and I mean we trained the model and then we pass in some test image. Uh, we did the same steps for the test image as well. We face detected the face, we calculated the calculated the facial and marks, and then we calculated the Euclidean distance from the test image to the all the red and blue points. And the uh, the distance which is less is that person. Now you must be thinking that it is done, and we can pretty much start writing our code, but it's actually not done yet. Now here is the catch. So here occurs another scenario. Now for example, instead of Tom Cruise or instead of Elon Musk, I am passing a test image which is completely different. So just to give you an idea, let's take an example of this photo. So this person is Beer Gills and this person is not in our database, is not in our graph. He is not Tom Cruise or he is not uh, Elon Musk and we are passing some different photo here. So what will happen in this case? Now let's go with our code. According to our code, this is our test image. We will first detect the face and then we will extract the facial landmarks and then we will try to draw it on the graph. So here we have the graph again, the same graph and this uh, the facial landmark, the point for this facial landmark can be here at this at this point one, it can be here at point two, it can be here at point three or it can be anywhere on the graph. We cannot sure about this, it can be anywhere on the graph. Now the problem here is that if we calculate the distance from this point, let's say this point to this red points and this point to this points. So this distance is a bit less than this uh, distance, this Euclidean distance. And if you go with this point, so this test image will be tagged as Tom Cruise, which is wrong. 
if you go with this point too so the distance between this point from the red points to the blue points is like equal so the our overall result will be 50 50 percent for the tom cruise it will be 50 for the elon musk it's 50 which is again wrong if you go with the point three so as per point three this uh, this particular test image will be tagged in as elon musk which is again wrong so the basic idea here is that if you if you draw this uh, if you pass this kind of test image for which the person is not in our uh, database not in our model file that person we are not sure about it will be tagged in as tom cruise or elon musk or any other one now what we need what we need our code to predict is unknown person because we haven't trained our model for this particular person so we need our uh, code we need our python script to tag this particular person as unknown as unidentified now what can be the solution for this now let's talk about the solution for this particular scenario so in order to solve this kind of scenario what we are going to take is so uh, as of now what we did is we took a photos of tom cruise and we took a photos of elon musk now we are going to add person 3 in our uh, code as well and what this person 3 will be this person 3 face uh, i mean images will be the images of different different person persons which are not common in each other and they are completely different to each other so for example here you are seeing five photos five face images of the person which are completely unknown completely different to each other reason being why we are taking different photos of the persons is once we extract the facial and mark and once we uh, add them on our graph add them in our data uh, data database they will spread uniformly all over the graph so let me let me give you an example so we've, we have taken five face images we extracted uh, the facial and marks and we have tagged all of them as unknown which is u1 u2 and so on now if you want to draw it on your graph this will look like something this so again this tc1 belongs to tom cruise this em belongs to elon musk and this u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 all these photos belongs to unknown persons now because their facial landmarks are completely different to each other and that's why they are not closer like Tom Cruise or Elon Musk and thus they are spread it uniformly all over our database all over our graph now how this is going to help us in solving the, uh, the unknown person now let's say we pass in a test image and it lies somewhere here so from our code we will calculate the distance between this point one to tom cruise 0.1 to em and 0.1 to u1 0.1 to u5 0.1 to u4 and so on so the closer is the u1 and thus this particular person will be tagged in as unknown simple clear and simple now let's say if we pass in another test image and it lies somewhere here so again this u5 point is closer to 0.2 and thus this will automatically be tagged in as unknown person or unidentified from our code same goes for point 0.3 and same goes for any other person any other person you pass in which is already not in our um, database not in our graph and this is how you we can solve the scenario of detecting unknown or unidentified persons in our in our code so this was all about a few basics of how face recognition work this is just a just a small presentation to give you guys an idea how uh, we can i mean how, what things happens behind the face recognition concepts in our next videos we will try to install few of the libraries we need for uh, face recognition python scripts and then we'll start uh, the coding process so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel